Friends, welcome. Joining us today, we have our friends from IntelliPeer, and specifically, we have Allie Haynes, uh, who's the Senior Vice President of Marketing. Allie, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Awesome. Hey, I know, uh, I know you guys have been busy. There's been a lot of change going on uh, over in Denver and beyond within your entire organization. You guys historically have been known as kind of the SIP house in our supplier community. That's quickly changing, and it feels like you guys are going all in on this little thing called CPAS. Tell us about all the changes you and the team are working on and, and what our community uh, should be excited about. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, we have been working with our partners, and we've been educating them on what CPAS is, um, the communications platform as a service. So. We've been working with them over the past couple of years to help educate them and get them on board to understand how they can help their customers with digital transformation initiatives. And I'm really excited to come and kind of talk about some of the new stuff that's going on. Um, we actually have been working with our partners to help them with managed services. So when a customer comes to a partner and they're like, I have no developers on staff, I need help because I don't have the resources to be able to you know, design flows, I need you to come in and help me. Partners are engaging with us um, through our managed services offering, and we're able to help deliver that for them. So we're trying to add more revenue streams, more products, and offerings that our partners can take to their customers. That's great. I know part of your guys' approach, and I've, I've, I've had a demo myself, is it's very much plug and play. And any of the gaps that may exist, you guys have team members that can help lend a hand to put together these workflows versus some of the bigger competitors that you have in this space are a little bit more intensive in terms of customization and everything else in between so yeah absolutely yeah a lot of a lot of industry players they want to see you have a whole team of developers that could come in and really actually custom develop something and what we wanted to do is create something that's easy to use easy to implement works with your existing infrastructure um, so there's no rip and replace it's just an easy way to add that into what your overall solution stack looks like great great well there's this little thing going on right now called COVID-19 that I think is affecting all of us to some degree. Um, how is, how is Intellipeer helping to helping your customers adapt? And do you think the season that we're living in with the work from home shift has accelerated customers need for a, a CPaaS solution? Going to walk us through that. Yeah, absolutely. So when this started happening in March, we reached out to our partners, we reached out to our customers who offer a virtual hand any way possible. You know, we can sit there and listen if they need to talk, um, if they need help with their services. And out of those conversations came out, we realized a lot of people who are having customer experience type of initiatives were struggling, particularly in the contact center. They were struggling with higher demand, higher volumes, um, just working from home agents. And they were looking for more automation and self-service options. And that's where CPaaS comes into play. So we were able to educate them on how easy it is to implement CPaaS into your solution. And it, most of the time it's over the top, which is even better. Again, you don't have to rip and replace things and automate some of that processes. It, it offloads all that burden on the agents and allows them to actually focus on what matters versus focusing on where's my order. That's all automated through either text, it could be through voice, um, or different, you know, social integration um, chats like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger. That's great. That's great. So helping helping customers and end users to connect with uh, not only employees but also end user consumers where they are, where they want to be met, regardless of the channel. Yeah, exactly. And I think we all realize even with COVID, customer experience is still number one for a lot of companies, and they want to make sure that they're meeting those demands of their customers and delivering the best experience ever. So that's where CPaaS really comes into play. I love it. I love it. Well, I think I, the large majority of our community has never probably been engaged in the CPaaS opportunity before. What would be an, an, an initial first step for them to build their confidence and engage the IntelliPeer team? Absolutely. Well, we have um, our partner IQ, which is kind of our education site. And actually a lot of our, our information is on the IntelliSys ICSU site too. But a good place to start is either with ICSU or go to the IntelliPeer IQ site and you could take our CPAS training. And it's really just a, a nice foundation, knowledge, information type of training that'll take you through what CPAS is, how it's applied, some use cases 
so you can understand how it could apply in different businesses and different scenarios. And from there, that'll give you just kind of that information to be able to start having conversations with your customers. Well, awesome. Allie, thank you so much for joining us. And also a big thanks to all of our partners at Intel up here. Guys, if you're looking for more, if you want to go even deeper in terms of content and education specific to CPAS on an ag agnostic level, as well as learning more about IntelliPeer's offering, dive into uh, ICSU and also feel free to reach out to your IntelliSys channel managers, as well as your IntelliPeer channel managers for guidance and direction. We're in your corner and we look forward to working together. Thank you so much.